Righto guys, welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing amazing. Uh, now, one thing I love to talk about when the weather starts to improve is snapper season. As you know, the weather's starting to improve, so it's time to dust off the snapper rods and start hitting it. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the Port Phillip Bay snapper rig. Now, check it out. There it is in its entirety, one of the most simple yet most effective rigs that you can tie for your local snapper. Okay, so a couple of simple things you're gonna to need to tie this rig is some good quality hooks. I'm not sponsored by any of these products, by the way, but they all work. Um, they're all fairly priced and uh, I've had great experiences with them. So to start off with, you're gonna need some good quality hooks. I like uh, for snapper, 5 octopus suicide hooks. Um, so we've got two hooks for this rig, a Lumo bead or sleeve, doesn't matter. Some people like red beads, yellow beads, orange beads, green beads, glow in the dark beads, doesn't matter. Um, I think some sort of attractant is good. Small ball sinker, uh, depending on the depth of water and the tide in the location you're fishing and a good quality small swivel uh, and some good fluorocarbon leader. I think that, you know, if you've invested your time uh, into fishing and you're putting in some hours for snapper, you do want to put, give every, give yourself every favour and they do say that fluorocarbon is invisible underwater. So let's get stuck into it. So what we need to do is we need to cut off uh, probably about a metre and we're going to start with the hooks. So this is a two hook snell rig. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the hook on first, like so. Pinch the line there, and then see this shank on the hook? We wanna to go to the other side, so we're gonna go anti-clockwise, and we're gonna do about three or four or five wraps, just a couple of wraps on the straight section of the hook. Okay, now we're gonna come in from the back section of the hook so that it stands up nice and straight. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of a knot in the back there. Okay, pull that tight without putting the hook in yourself okay grab your little scissors scissors cut off the tag good to go right next hook same thing just hold your leader thread through the hook from the, from the bottom side up now this is where you need to make a decision for yourself based upon the size of the baits that you're using if you're fishing with like silver whiting or you know a fish fillet or pilchards uh, then you want it you know three or four inches apart i've had great success with squid heads and sometimes i find having them a bit closer works a little bit better just so you don't get that loop of line around your bait so i'm going to fish with silver whiting to start off with usually a great bait so now same again anti-clockwise a couple of wraps say so four or five whatever you like one more for good measure take the leader okay pull it tight and obviously on this one there's no tag to cut off so super super simple this one next goes on our lumo bead or a tractor bead or whatever you want to call it a small ball sinker just sits on top and then the swivel so with this one we just I just use a just a general uni knot super simple knot and you can look I use this knot on snapper tuna gummies game fish trout you name it um, I love it so thread it through the whatever you're tying on pinch Make a small loop and then this is 40 pound leader i wouldn't usually fish with 40 pound leader for snapper in port phillip bay um, but i'm just using a thicker leader just to make it a bit easier for you guys to see it okay now pull that sort of semi tight okay now need to lubricate it There we go, just tighten it, cut the tag off, job done. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, now, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video with your mates if you'd like to. And uh, by all means, leave a comment. YouTube loves it. Now, one thing I want you to remember, whilst this rig works really, really well for me, it's not the only way to catch a snapper. At the end of the day, they're just like any other fish. So don't be scared to mix it up. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.